Holy Father, I come before your holy presence with praise and thanksgiving in my heart. Your holy word says that if I ask in faith and believe that you have heard me, you will answer. I believe. I ask that you would bless all the police officers who are here today, bless their families and all the districts they represent. I ask that you would lead and guide their superiors to make wise decisions. You have called these men and women to these jobs and they are dedicated to uphold the laws of this land. They are get it dedicated to that end only. Help this nation to see that the police are not their enemy. Father, please bless all the officers of my District 4 of Milwaukee and every member of their families. Please help them to deal with their grief and trauma. And I ask for you to wipe away any bitterness that they might have in their hearts toward the young man who cut down Peter. I also ask for you to please bless the family of that young man and especially the heart of his mother. She also lost a son on February 7th. Please, please help them to see that Peter was not their enemy, nor am I. Father, I ask you to help the mothers and fathers of Milwaukee to love, lead, and guide their children in the right ways to go so no more beautiful young men or young women might die in violence. I know that's a tall order, Lord, but I serve an awesome God. Please bless all of those of my city, my state, and my nation who want to bless my family. We so appreciate their prayers, their generosity, their love, and their sacrifices for us. Bless all of them back sevenfold. As always, I abide in your loving kindness, and I am eternally grateful for the sacrifice of your son, Jesus Christ, on the cross for our sins. I ask all of these things in the name of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Good afternoon. Thank you all for coming and showing your support and love for Peter, his family, and our extended family, the wonderful people of the Milwaukee Police Department, the fire department, the rescue people, hospitals, nurses, doctors, everyone. How many of you went to Sunday school as kids? You want to raise your hand? If you don't, it'd be nice to see them. Thank you. How many of you cravingly waited for summer vacation from school only to be shuffled off to vacation Bible school to get you out of your mother's hair? Probably a lot more of you, or a bunch of the same. All of you you probably heard some quirky stories about a young shepherd boy, David, who became the king of Israel. Let's talk a bit more about David after he became king. David lost two sons, and he responded differently in each case. When his son Absalom was killed, David cried out, Oh, Absalom! My son, my son, would to God I had died in your place. This is a normal response. It is what we all feel, particularly a parent who has lost a child. It is not a wrong response, but as survivors, we eventually grow beyond it. We realize that it is a short-term response. Oh, Peter, my son, would to God I had died in your place. I am old, and you are still a young man 
my son, Peter, my son. This is my response at this present time, and it is not a wrong response. The other son David had, the other son David lost, was his first son by Bathsheba. The child died seven days after he was born, one day before he would have been circumcised. David had spent those seven days in sackcloth and ashes, fasting and praying for that child to survive. Strangely, when the child died, Scripture tells us he arose from his grief, he washed himself, he put on clean clothes, and he ate. David quickly went back to doing the job of being king. This was not a typical response, not a normal response. David explained it this way, I will go to him, but he will not return to me. Essentially, he was saying, I as well will die someday. But for now, it is time to go about the work of the kingdom. My son Peter knew that the job he had was like running on the edge of a precipice. He understood, as do all of you guys out there and gals out there, that every day and every night you go out, you may not return home at the end of it. But Peter ran this race with gusto, with the joy of life. You've all seen all those pictures out there of, them, of him and all these pictures that have been up here. That smile, that greatness of camaraderie with his friends and his family. This is not someone who was approaching life as if it were some bitter pill to endure or a reason to be angry and resentful toward God or to turn inward and become a hermetically sealed plastic human person. Peter loved life. He loved his life. He loved your lives. He celebrated every day he had with you, his dear brothers and sisters. I know he would have wanted you to remember him that way. Grieve, yes, for however long you need to. That is normal. It is natural. It is how God made us. But then, when your grieving is over, get up. Wash your face. Put on the uniform of your chosen profession and get back out there and do the work of the kingdom. There is still more work to be done. And do it with the joy of life that made you want to get into this race in the first place. It is said of Jesus in the New Testament that he, for the joy that was set before him, endured the cross, suffering the shame. He knew that beyond the horror and pain of his death lay the great salvation of his people. We are saved from sin and death because Jesus joyfully endured the hard work of the kingdom, even his own death. He is our example in life and certainly was an example to Peter. Brethren, family, people, this is not Sunday school anymore. This is not about a pretty paper star for good attendance. Peter Jerving, my son, has finished the race and will receive a glorious crown. Like him, we have a job to do. We have a mission to complete. For me, it will be finished when God calls me home. For you as well, when God calls you home. Hopefully that will be many years from now. Until that time, I will run this race, and I know you will as well. We will run this race with great joy, knowing that in God's perfect time, we will receive the same glorious crown. Thank you, brothers and sisters.